about, about to drive on the Dempster Highway. So it's about 800 kilometers to Inuvik. Uh, but we're gonna go halfway tonight, stay in a place called Eagle Plains, which has a population of nine. Nine so people. Bustling. I don't know if we'll uh, be able to handle all the action. But uh, yeah, it's supposed to be a beautiful road. Aside from all the rock chips and uh, big trucks coming down and stuff like that, it's been raining a bit, so I don't know, we'll see how it goes. It's kind of like half excited, half nervous for it, but I think people make it out to be a little more hardcore than it is, because I was told as long as we don't speed and go 100, then usually you're fine. So we'll see how it all goes, but I'm excited to see the, the shift from the forest to the tundra. Arctic Ocean is the first time that we're gonna be in the Arctic. Can you even believe it? I even I, I didn't even thought that it was possible. Like I know that Canada touches the Arctic, but for that I thought that you needed to be in the very 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 north. And we're in the very very north, but with this highway we're gonna be able to, to touch it with our feet. So from what I understand, it's the it's the first highway now. Not to Inuvik, but from Inuvik to Taktiaktak is the first highway in Canada to hit the Arctic Ocean. So, and I think one of two or three in the world. So it's pretty, it's pretty Even cool. the name, the name, we're gonna be in Taktiyaktak. It's like, it sounds even like it's not real, but yeah, we're gonna be in Taktiyaktak. <laughs> so we're very excited. And the locals call it Tuck. Uh-huh. If you wanna be cool. And also to tuck. make it easier. I don't think that it has such an easy pronunciation, but <laughs> I don't know, even know how to spell it, but yeah. We're going to talk. I know how to spell it now because I've been spelling it so much. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the things that we're very worried about is that we get a flat tire because we don't have a spare. We just have a dummy tire. But anyway, many people say that they, if they've never had a flat, sometimes you read that people have like two or three flat tires in one trip. So, but that's not gonna be our our position. I hope to. But anyway, we bought this thing that is called Lime. That's slime. Slime. Oh. Because you just get like a very small hole that maybe you can just fill up with this thing that Matthew bought at Canadian Tire. Um, so yeah, we hope that we can make it through without any kind of delays. And another thing, there's no service on the roads. So you need to have a satellite phone, which we don't have as well. But they said that everyone is willing to help. So I think that will be fine. <laughs> And one more thing, just on our way here, look at all the chips we got on the windshield. Four already. So Matthew did a horrible job trying to fix them, but still that may help for the windshield not to keep track, uh, cracking. So yes, there's so many trucks on the road and they don't, they don't stop. So you see the just the uh, rocks flying and we, we're even scared. I even close my eyes because we know that we're gonna get another chip. But anyway, as far as we're safe, I think that's the most important thing. Um, yeah, so, and you can repair them horribly like Matthew did, but... <laughs> it looks worse because it's not cleaned yet. But, uh, that's not true. You did a good job, baby. Anyway, so that's our main concerns that the car stays good for the rest of the trip because we still have 46 days left. And now we got to get gas because there's no more service for 400 kilometers, so... This is an important fill-up. So those were our thoughts and expectations before starting the drive on the Dempster Highway. And of course, now that we've done the drive, we have a bunch of tips we'd like to share with you in case you're deciding to make the drive in the future. drove in the fall which ended being a beautiful and awesome idea because not only you see the beautiful fall colors but also because there's no mosquitoes or bugs so usually in the summer and spring there's so many bugs up north that you really want to bring a mosquito repellent or long sleeves to protect yourself but when we were there there was none the tip number one for the Dempster Highway is to fill up your gas tank. So maybe this sounds very common sense, but it's very important that you fill up your tank. Now there's no gas station, so basically there's a gas station just outside 
of Dawson City right before beginning the Dempster, that's where you'll want to make sure you fill up because it's about 400 kilometers to the next gas station. So, um, I mean, most tanks, like our tank, can, can make it that far, but if yours can't or if you're worried, you'll definitely want spare gas as well. Um, then it's a very long drive. All the way to Inuvik is around eight to nine hours, but that without, that's without stops. So most likely you're gonna be stopping to get some pictures, enjoy the scenery, you pass through uh, Tombstone territorial, territorial Park. Park. There's some hikes that you can do there. So bring food and water for the drive. So you can even either bring snacks or maybe bring a stove. You can pull on the side of the road and have like a nice warm meal. <coughs> Because the only place to get food is Eagle Plains, so the same place you'd get gas. Uh, but it's a restaurant, not a grocery store. And if you if you break down, you'll definitely want food and especially water. Yes. And number three, and probably the most important, and one of the most important tips, is to bring a full-size spare tire. So this is not something we did. We chose to just rely on our, our small, small dummy tire. Uh, but we did have a flat. We were lucky. We broke down about... Um, 20 kilometers outside of Eagle Plains because they have a repair center there so we made it back on the dummy tire but I don't think you'd want to be driving for 100 or 200 kilometers on one of those. Um, another option that we tried to rely on was like a thing called slime so if you get a small hole you can put that in the tire and it seals it up supposedly. For us it, it, it didn't work maybe our uh, the hole in our tire was too big so yeah if I did it again I would definitely get uh, a full-size spare tire. A good way to not get a flat tire brings bring us to the next tip, which is don't speed. So this way you're gonna stay safe, that to maybe not get in an accident, but also uh, like lower the chances to get a flat tire. Yeah. So basically, some of the the Dempster Highway is made with shale rock, which is really sharp, and the faster you go, the more chance it has to lodge itself inside and also it's uh, a gravel road so generally it's more slippery especially if it's been raining so you'll want to take your time go about 80 kilometers or less enjoy the scenery and uh, arrive safe yes so maybe this will uh, allow you to consider uh, spend an, an, a night in Eagle Plains which is halfway uh, because then as probably you're gonna be stopping getting pictures and this way it breaks the long drive. Yeah it's just it's nice to be able to relax so that you're fresh for the next uh, for the day two uh, and they have a hotel so you can stay in their hotel or they have um, a campground as well and we stayed the night and we actually saw some really northern beautiful lights. northern lights so they're right on the Arctic Circle um, it's a great place to see them if the sky is clear and it was it was our best northern lights right it's the beautiful, beautiful 150 day trip so so this will be our another tip to maybe if you consider to stay in the motel book in advance because most likely you're gonna get there late evening and it fills up very quick another tip is to bring if you want phone service you'll need to rent or buy a satellite phone uh, we chose to, to not do this because it was really expensive and we were already in Dawson so basically you need to rent it in Whitehorse. They're like $250 a week, something like that. Um, but yeah, if you want service, that's the only option. Otherwise, if you break down, you'll just have to, if you need phone service, you'll need to wave someone else down, which is what we did, and ask for help. Yes, and you don't even need to wait. Most people will stop as soon as they see you on the side of the road. And that's, that's a very Canadian way. Everyone is super friendly. Especially on those kind of roads, because they know that there's no service. So. Um, but yeah, another smaller tip maybe is to bring a, a windshield repair kit. You can get them at like Canadian Tire for $20. Uh, we actually, a lot of people get cracks in their windshield. We didn't, we got them somewhere else. But if you were to get one, one or two, you might want to fill them up just so they don't spread. Um, if you get 10, I would probably just not use them, bring them back and buy a new windshield. Cause yeah, because there's a lot of trucks on the highways, so they don't stop, they come quite fast and those are the ones that throw the bigger rocks and the fastest rocks and that's... So every time that you see a truck coming, maybe pull a little bit on the side, slow down and close your eyes because <laughs> they're like pretty loud. 
Um, but so, other than that, that's, that's pretty much the, the main tips that we always share with, with people when they ask us about driving the Dempster Highway. Uh, the only other thing I'd mention is not to get too scared. Like I read so many posts that made it seem like we were going to have four flats and a totally broken windshield and no headlights and it seemed like a really intense journey. It's not that bad, uh, especially if you're driving 80 kilometers or less. And I would just all ignore all that, prepare with the tips we said and you'll have a, a great time. And also there's awesome tourism boards and tourism office riding Dawson, Whitehorse, Inuvik that you can get more information about the drive also if there's like any... Um... Yeah, like in Dawson people actually come in before they go and after they come back from Inuvik and they'll, they'll report uh, the road conditions like if it was raining, things like that. So it's a good idea to, to go in there and sometimes they even have little contests you can enter along the way and get stamps and then yes. you can enter to, to win a prize. But if not, there's also a lot of information on their websites. On our website, we're going to do a write-up so you can find all these tips down on paper. And uh, we also hope that you find this video useful. If you do, please leave us a comment. If you have any more questions, just let us know. We will be very happy to answer. Give us a thumbs up. If you like uh, this subscribe video. Subscribe to our channel and visit us at mustdocanada.com. So see you in the, until the next video.